Welcome to this introduction to the Molecular Evolutionary Genetics Analysis software. In this tutorial, I will be discussing the usage of the MEGA10 software. 10 refers to the version number 10. When you use this software, please be sure to cite the relevant publication. In this case, the publication is this one over here. Please cite the authors and you may refer to any additional notes in this publication itself. Let's go straight to the software itself. So the software can be downloaded and installed onto your Mac or Windows PCs. And you can use the software to basically align sequences from the NCBI. So in this case of your example, I'm going to use this align function. You also have multiple functions and you can utilize this software to plot phylogenetic trees as well and to identify certain parameters such as rates of mutation and molecular clocks. But in this example, we will be focusing on the align function. Now I want to use this function to align multiple nucleotide sequences. So I click on align and in this I am offered multiple choices. So in this case, I want to query data banks or I want to use a web browser such as the NCBI nucleotide search to identify and locate specific sequences for this example. So I click on show web browser and it will connect me to the NCBI gene bank. Now I'm looking specifically for nucleotide sequences. So I click on nucleotide. I select nucleotide and I'm looking for a specific region of the genome, in which case I have saved this name. So I'm looking for internal transcribed spacer or RISA Tiva, and I want to utilize this particular sequence to construct a phylogenetic tree based on the internal transcribed spacer of rice or RISA Tiva. So I search. So there are multiple sequences within the NCBI gene bank. I have about 1051 sequences, but I don't need so many. So I will select the basic number of sequences to construct this tree, which is around 20. And in order to identify the sequences, I have to look at the FASTA sequence. The FASTA sequence is recognized by this particular software. So I'm going to reject the sequence because it's too large and needs to be trimmed. I'll select sequences within the range of 500 to 800 bases. Okay. Okay. Let me select these sequences. So I have around 19 sequences I've selected. And then I go up and I basically select here summary. Scroll down and you will see FASTA text. You need to select this in order to import the sequences into the Mega 10 software. Okay, so you have all the sequences and then you click on this icon here, which is add to alignment when everything has been imported. So now the green bar has depicted that all the sequences. So I add to alignment, click on add to alignment. And now you can see all the sequences aligned together. Now, when you align, you're offered multiple options in Mega 10. So you click on alignment and you can align by cluster or muscle. So I'll align by cluster. And since these are nucleotide sequences, I won't select codons. So I'll al align using cluster. Okay. So I select all and my default parameters for the gap penalty for pairwise and multiple alignment have been set at default and I click OK. Now the sequences will be aligned and the rate or the speed at which it aligns these sequences will determine will be determined by your software or your processor speed. So now you can see that they have all been aligned. Okay, now I save this file or I can align it and transfer it to a phylogenetic tree. So I can save this file or I can send it for phylogenetic analysis. So I'm going to click on phylogenetic analysis, click here and 
since these are non-protein coding nucleotide sequences, they are purely nucleotides which do not encode for a gene. I click no. Okay. They are now imported into the phylogenetic software. Okay, I close this. I close this. Now on this window, I click on phylogeny and I construct, for instance, the UPGMA tree, which I've explained in my lecture earlier. I click on UPGMA and then I construct using the existing data file which is open on my window. So click yes and these are the defaults and you should be okay. You click okay for this example. Okay, now this is the phylogenetic tree which has been constructed using this software. Okay, you can see the distribution of the various sequences and their clustering based on their sequence homology or the sequence similarity. This is a very useful software for the analysis of sequence data. Okay, and you can basically construct multiple trees using the NJT or the UPGMA algorithms. Okay, so this is a basic explanation of the MEGA4 and you can utilize these functions to look at the branch lens and analyze them in detail. Thank you.